everyone, Mishima Bruce here, and today I'd like to talk about something kind of personal, um, something that happened to me earlier this week, and kind of something that I learned from it, and hopefully you guys can learn something as well. Um, I understand that like different healthcare systems in different countries, different provinces, different states, um, different areas have different ways of dealing with things, um, so I understand that what worked for me, or hopefully will work for me, may not work for everyone, um, it's just kind of like... I guess just a little bit of a story and you know if there is similar steps that you can take then uh, you know I guess it'll be beneficial um, so basically on Monday um, my mental health has just been like just I don't know it's just coming really bad just everything seems to kind of be like piling up um, problems with work problems with friendship groups um, you know like trying to to start a life and, and do what I like to do, do what I love, um, not being able to do that really, um, just so feeling really weighed down with, you know, debt and responsibility and not knowing where life is going to take me and not really feeling any sort of enjoyment in living right now, to be honest. Um, yeah, the depression has been really bad. So unfortunately it got to the point where i was like okay honestly like i need to go right now to the hospital because i had just i've been in this state before and i just knew that nothing good was going to come of it if i didn't go and seek help immediately so i was like okay i feel like i'm gonna hurt myself right now i feel like or, or something worse you know um sometimes when you have borderline personality disorder you can't think about anything else other than like all of the shit that's piling up right now and you don't know how to deal with it and so your mind immediately goes to okay, let's do something impulsive, and sometimes that's self-harm. Um, I know I've talked in other videos about self-harm, but just, like, that need to kind of, I don't know, take out our impulses, to kind of punish ourselves for for being this way, not being happy, um, needing to feel, like, some kind of release, and kind of just, like, bringing emotions back um, when you feel numb. It's weird because you can feel too many emotions at the same time as feeling nothing. Like, I feel nothing, but then I also feel like a lot. It's weird. Um, so that's just kind of where my head's been at. And I obviously, like, I don't want to be back where I was before. Where I was cutting myself and, you know, making plans to do something serious and, you know, something that I can't come back from. Um... So I know that I'm sure most of you have been in that state before where it's gotten so bad that you don't really trust being around yourself and you can't really be alone. Um, and if you don't have someone there constantly supporting you and kind of looking after you and being like, look, don't, don't do what I think you're about to do right now. If you don't have someone watching you, then unfortunately it kind of puts you into like this like childish role where you need to be watched. Um, to make sure you don't do anything stupid. Um, it also takes a lot of our autonomy away, you know, but like that's sometimes necessary. And if you don't have someone like that, it can get really, really dangerous really fast. So um, for me, I just told my boyfriend, like, look, I feel like I'm going to hurt myself right now. I feel like, you know, I'm that depressed. I feel like I don't want to be living anymore. And I don't want to, you know, go back to those times where I would do something very serious. Um, so he said, okay, I'm going to take you to the hospital. So... This is kind of how I'm hopefully going to be getting some help a little bit faster than, you know, just going to my family doctor and, you know, waiting for a referral and then waiting to hear back from the psychiatrist and then waiting to hear back from what he said. So I kind of, you know, hopefully I've got some, I've skipped some steps um, so that I can get help faster. So I went to the hospital, you know, I told the charge nurse um, at the front desk, like, this is what's happening feel like I'm gonna hurt myself right now or, or worse um so I need to speak to someone right away um so you know like take your vitals when you go to emerge um they kind of take down like all of your past history and stuff like that and um from there you know I waited a little bit of time and then I spoke to the crisis worker um they usually have a crisis worker on call um 24 7 it was like eight o'clock nine o'clock in the morning on Monday um, but I feel like, I think they're there at all times, um, just in case something like this, something very serious would happen that comes to emerge. Um, so I spoke to her, kind of told her everything that's been going on, you know, how I've been feeling. I feel like I'm, you know, worthless and, you know, I feel like I need to hurt myself to, to, you know, 
to to kind of feel better or you know I've been in the spot where I want to take my own life and I just feel like I'm heading back there so I'm trying to like not um so then I spoke to a psychiatrist as well kind of told him everything he kind of did some tests um you know since I've already been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder um they weren't really there to diagnose me with anything else to be honest I wasn't sure if there was anything else wrong with me um but, you know, I guess that can always be dealt with in the future. I feel like if they immediately saw something else other than BPD, they would have probably moved to address that. But they kind of said, like, okay, it seems like your BPD is getting bad again. Um, and they kind of tried to get my therapy history. And to be honest, I have done therapy in the past. I never did finish it, though, because this is so borderline. But literally, I was doing therapy. My therapist told me that she had another job lined up, so she had to... You know she's going to be moving on um so unfortunately she couldn't see me anymore um but she was going to kind of get someone else to fill in her place and then i kind of have to redo the whole thing and i was just like no like i've already connected with you i don't feel like i want to you know have to redo this whole process all over again with someone else you know now that i'm looking at it um a little bit older and more mature i should have accepted the help but it's hard you know when, when we have these abandonment issues and yes i understand like our therapists are just there to help us um, but the reason we're in therapy is to kind of learn ways of dealing with these abandonment issues and, and everything like that. So, you know, if I could do it differently than I would. Um, so they've kind of set me up now with like, I'm on waiting lists for DBT and I'm really excited about that because what I did before wasn't necessarily DBT. Um, the therapy I was in before was for comorbid disorders, um, like concurrent. So basically it was borderline personality disorder and a substance abuse. So I was being treated for both at the time because I was you know, more so into the substances. Um, now, not so much. Now, I, you know, I don't have those other substances. Um, so it's just the borderline that they need to focus on. So, you know, I'm really excited because I've been looking a lot into dialectical behavioral therapy and I feel like it is definitely like kind of the next step for treating BPD. Like, okay, you found out you have borderline, great. Now you have to, you know, move forward in the treatment. And of course there are medications that can help certain people um but to be honest i kind of i kind of want to do therapy first and then you know go from there because i don't know like i've just seen so many people take all these medications and you know try different things and you know some of it doesn't work medication doesn't work for everyone although i'm not trying to say that it doesn't work um it has also worked great for a lot of people um it's just kind of where you're at personally and kind of steps that you think are gonna you know, help you move forward in life. So right now I feel like therapy is definitely the best option. Um, the psychiatrist agrees that right now I don't think I need to focus on um, medication. Uh, he thinks that their uh, dialectical behavioral therapy will be the best option for me right now. So I'm really excited because I just, I, I really do want to start it and I really do think that it is necessary for me to learn um, and kind of maybe meet other people with BPD um, in real life and go to these kind of support groups um, kind of to feel less alone and you know learn from others experiences as well as my own because even though we all have this disorder borderline personality disorder what I have experienced and the symptoms you know that I have could be completely different from the, the next person so again even with dialectical behavioral therapy it may not work for everyone I just feel like that is probably my next um, the next step for me personally um, and I mean, they do kind of recommend it for most people with BPD. So if, if that's something that you're interested in, try and read more about it. There is like a DBT workbook I can link down below just to kind of get yourself familiarized. I mean, it is definitely better to do it in a group setting with like a registered therapist, but like there's no harm in kind of, um, like researching it before you go into it. Um, so the steps, again, the steps that I took were going straight to the eMERGE, um, when I felt like I was going to hurt myself or worse, um, you know, speaking to a crisis worker and a psychiatrist, and that kind of allowed me to move forward with my therapy. So now I'm in wait list for two different uh, DBT programs, so whichever hopefully opens up first, I'll be on the wait list for that. So I'm really hoping it'll be soon, maybe within the next couple of weeks or month or so. I just felt like personally for myself, that moved me a lot, moved me forward a lot faster than going through a family doctor. And again, like depending on where you live, um, you know, merge may cost you money even just to walk into, um, may cost you a lot of money to, to join these therapy groups. I believe that mine is free since I was referred. Um, but again, sometimes therapy can be very expensive. So I understand that 
what hopefully will work for me may not work for everyone. Um, but I just really wanted to kind of share that little personal thing going on in my life. And when I do start the DBT, I will definitely be keeping you guys updated and we can kind of go on that journey together. Um, again, so thank you guys so much for your continued support. I'm sorry I haven't been very active lately. I've just been dealing with this beast, the beast of borderline personality disorder. And uh, hopefully one day, hopefully one day we can all manage our symptoms and live life like it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.